Greetings, my fellow friends. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to episode 14 of Winter's Way Station, which originally streamed live on Twitch. And then after this part's done, I will uh, make some effort to make sure that um, Yoda is and, and the other pets are taken care of. I know I've been neglecting them, but um, as you can see, I am a little busy. And as long as they're not screaming for help, I think it's fine. They're getting hungry, though. I'll just slap this up. Well, that's going to melt the food. Yeah, I'll just leave it out there. And uh, what I can do is I can switch this door up for an animal flap and let the uh, cow roam. That will work. All right, we're going to need to power up the the kitchen or else we're not going to be cooking food. I also might want to remove the snow that's on the ground in there. It's a little weird that because it's not going to melt on its own as long as the kitchen stays frozen. So we'll make a point of melting it ourselves. So this will be the guest's dining room, and I'll just mimic, oops, mimic my own, but I'm going to do it one structure at a time so that, uh, uh, so that Winter can be the, the constructor. And then if I open up the guest zone, let's fix this. So guests are allowed over there. Apparently I've cut the plumbing, so that's good that I looked. Yeah, the plumbing got cut here. So this is probably the most important thing to build right now. Um, okay, there we go. Got plumbing in again. So then the guest zone is going to be allowed to... For now, I'm not going to wait on them because I don't have a lot of uh, labor force. But the guests are going to be allowed in this area here. So that's the new guest zone, giving them access to the food. And then over here is going to be recreation, so I'm going to actually just remove... Well, I'm going to keep the table, but... Um, yeah, this is going to be the uh, other zone, and obviously the uh, biosolids composters are going to have to move. Um, a good spot for the biosolders, uh, the composters, would be in here if this became a roofed-in uh, heated area. So I'll, I'll do that. Meaning that we'll put in a... A light, a heater, and then the composters. New lovers! Starling and Kellyan. Awesome. So we have Omega, this will be yours. And then this will be yet another future prison. Ah, we're starting to pair off. Awesome. Compensated battle. Should I accept the battle? Quest. What do you guys think? Oops. So it is for either a psychic sensitizer, which is kind of worthless, or goodwill and, and, and plasteel or goodwill. And it's to kill some Thragel. It's up to you. This weirdo is just standing in the freezer here. I don't know why. And then I probably need to store biosolids. So I'm going to set up biosolids to be stored in here. Next to the farm. And eventually this whole thing is going to be one big farm. Once the hothouse quest is done, or the hothouse uh, build is done. It's going to be a little bit longer, but we're getting there. And we're also heading into summer, so things will start to melt on their own, which is kind of nice. Thank you, Plex, for cleaning. And I think at this point, I'm just going to clean everything inside the walls. 
I know we're going to be cleaning up after the cow for a bit, but we'll get a ranch eventually. Marriage is on! Winner and demon. I knew that was coming, but that was rather fast. And a wolf that wants to eat me. Sorry, wolf. Not today. We're going to hunt down some of the buck because we're a little bit low on uh, meat. And let's put the butchery here. With the butchery zone adjacent. Also looks like I'm going to need to power up my Christmas trees again. Jesus! Shuttle crash! Alright. Uh, these are going to be hostile beds now. So, who do we got? We got Odd Dial? Odile? A fast-learning, abrasive, and Wiggins, psychically deaf, too smart, nimble. And we believe in helping others, so they're going to be rescued. Here, let me switch. One did not make it, but they died on impact. They were never alive. Mish. Mish be mished. Now uh, you guys say don't do the battle quest. It's not doesn't suit us, doesn't fit us. So, reject it. I don't know if these guys are going to join me, but if they do, they'll be rant raffled. Oh, I guess they're going to be in the same bed. Are you in a relationship? You are not. It's fine. Just a hospital bed. And Odile already joined. So, uh giveaway. There it is. Good luck, subs. And he is the fast learning abrasive who's um, very good at research, but refused to do dumb labor. Good at wardening. So I'll probably end up having them lean into entertainment and wardening because they don't do dumb research and maybe do cooking as well because they're level, level six cook. And they are going to stay in this bed. They have an old scratch scar. Oh, and Wiggins joined as well. All right. Wiggins is the only one that is passionate in doctoring. Also a very good miner. Um, nice. Both joined. And this is, whoops, going to be Wiggins' bed. But let's have them uh, bed rest. They're both very much hurt, so I'm going to have them sleep it off. So good luck in the raffle. I am very happy that they both joined. And um, uh, I guess our hospitality is amazing because we scored a 92. Uh, this needs to be linked again, doesn't it? Are all these linked now? Yeah. All right, they're all linked. So you are nimble and very good at brawling. Uh, I don't really have any good weapons, but I'm going to give you a sandstone club. And then you absolutely suck at combat, but I'll give you a great bow. Or no, I'll give you a machine pistol. Um. And you two to be raffled. No, not Mike. Old dial. All right, looking good. It's not so cold for the cow, which is awesome. The biosolids are being stored. This room is um, tempered enough to move the 
Composters in there. So this is our biosolids room. I like it. Oh, one of them got sick. And it's a leg infection. We'll tend to it. Whoa, with Glitter World? All right, I'll allow Glitter World this one time for the infection, but then no further. Glitter World's pretty, I mean, we have a bunch of Glitter World. We have 41 left, so it's not that big of a deal. But then these guys all believe in in uh, different ideologies. We have quite a plurality of ideologies now, so that's another thing to consider is that, um, uh, you know, they, they might be very hard to uh, keep happy because everybody believes in something else. It's not to say that it's so much a problem, but it does add uh, def definitive complexity. One minute left on the raffle timer. Good luck, everybody. All right, animal hauling zone needs to be updated, obviously. And probably soon to be thrown out of the, um, oh, another infection. Darn. Who on uh, raffle again? We already tended to it. Oh, well. So good luck. Very eager to have the extra help. Okay, here it goes. Foolish man thing. You're gonna be this sick raffle. And I'm gonna name them fully, because I think that's what you choose for yourself. And next up, Seth Joe. You are this guy. And let me know if you guys want to rename your uh, your characters. Got to be safe for work, but uh, other than that, yeah, it's up to you. Okay, Mike, didn't mean to maroon you in there. So this is sort of the hot house. Obviously, it's not all lit, so I'm not going to expand upon it just yet. And yeah, we're, the roof is coming down, so let's build that up. So we'll have to have a lot more skylights in order to keep this lit. But I'm going to want to enclose it at least to keep the original farm warm. I don't know what parts of it are um, fertile or not, so I'm going to remove a few sections to see if they're fertile underneath. Fully can't reach... Star oh, she's... Um, insulting people? Which is weird, because you're not... Yeah, go rest. All right, more people passing by, but we're not taking any more new guests yet. Uh, there's one spot that I didn't have covered. Not a big problem. I think the skylight collapsed, actually. So I might want a granite column there to keep the... Uh, Keep it from collapsing further.
Running cables and wooden walls definitely gives me pause, but I like the aesthetics of wood, so it's going to get done. So there's the hothouse. As amorphous as it looks. Faustupia, thanks for the bits. You love the series already? I appreciate it. You probably mean Wendigos, because I know you were lurking and watching Wendigos. But either way, I appreciate it. So here's the final dimensions. I'm going to put the door here instead of there so I can wall this up proper. And this is my beautiful hat house, which soon will be heated, I hope. So here is the pillar. Yeah, so there's one little roof thing that collapsed here. Barely anything at all. Um, I don't know why Plex is building it, though. She's not known to be good at that. I'm going to remove the other farms for now. And then we can move these heaters where it's not fertile. So that we're not taking up grow zones. And then probably eventually replacing the heaters with uh, radiators. So I'm going to do a large radiator in this spot um, with some paved tile underneath it and see how heated that becomes. It's warmer than ambient already, but obviously it's going to need to be a lot warmer. Uh, I did break some skylights. Let's put another one by four there. And then I'm going to need to smelt some additional glass. So I'm going to do glass until I have, let's say, 30. I'll be uh, preempting all the skylights that we're going to need. Okay. I like it. Uh, this is my... So this is a joint recreation room, so I guess it's fine that... Um, yeah, I guess it's fine that, uh, that the marriage spot is in there. But it's, it's a pretty crummy recreation room. However, it's technically done. So I'm going to ask the next focus. Um, so we can do proper barn facilities. Um, add additional recreation and dining. Improve the church. Um... Improve defenses or viewer submitted ideas. Go and vote. And M21 Eagle, thank you for the follow. And Taiwan or Taiwan Elmo, thank you for the follow as well. Oh, we have a mech cluster. Oh, it's a baby mech cluster. Cute little baby mech cluster. Got it. It's a countdown for a day and a half. Trying to brainstorm how about how I'd like to hit the unstable power cell, but I'd like to do it in a way that isn't going to get me killed. Uh, but the problem is most of my guys are very short ranged. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a, an avoid zone. I'm going to paint the avoid zone so I don't stand on top of them as I uh, set up my defenses for this. Invert it, schedule it, and then build a little granite structure here. And that should wake it up. And then maybe a door out back. Okie dokie.
I saw an opportunity to uh, wipe out those two. Might as well take it. Uh, no register. Yep, that's something I'm going to need to fix, but I don't have any guests right now, so I guess it's fine. I'm going to turn this off until we have guests. Med emergency. You're okay. You just need tending. She had a little bit of like a, a wandering insult event that um, that was a problem, but I'll tend to her. So you guys want me to improve the church? Defend the cluster, then improve church. Alrighty, you got it. I'm gonna stand over her. This tending is gonna be in 0.4 hours. Although you were you were you're already immune. It's fine. So this church here. I'm going to want to expand. Oops. And then after we expand, I'm going to want to adorn it with more stuff. So let's say this is the center. So this is up six, down six. So the southern wall will be here. So that way I don't have to rebuild the altar. The altar stays put. That's my church dimensions. And uh, I'll be adding nice things to it soon. But I, I want to set up for the, the uh, mech cluster first. We have only 24 hours to do that. Let me hide that pole. And then that should allow me to do some conversion rituals, which will be really, really, really good for us. So, Mike, you're up, and you're already building the granite walls. Perfect. I'm out of granite. Um... I'm setting up a new granite queue. Oh, this here, I screwed this up. Um, this here is supposed to be an animal flat. Out of plane, it's fine. So that the cow has somewhere to go when it's cold. I just never put that back in. It's still pretty cold out. Okay, 18 hours. Let's get working. I'm going to forbid this for now, because we have urgent things to work on. But I will, uh, so the cow doesn't suffer, I will make the animal flat. So now this is an indoor zone the cow has access to. If we look at the pen mark, as you can see, it can get down there. All right. Operation Pillbox. Because I really don't have good weapons. We haven't really been focusing on weapons, so the uh, the little pillbox will protect me from the mech cluster, at least, I hope. That's the hope. Okay, the two septic tanks easily are able to handle the... Uh, the load, pun intended. And Winter and Mike are probably close to finishing up the little defenses. We've got 12 hours. So I'm going to send everyone pretty much down here. Let's, um,. Mike, bring the last of the granite needed for the last of the structures. 
and then I'm going to micromanage it so that we get this built. Oh, sorry, Mike. Waza Burns, thank you for the sub. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Foley, you can leave. Uh, I don't think I'm going to need a clubber. Now, I do have a low shield in case. That might be a really powerful tool to use here if, uh, if need be. What I'm hoping to do is that the, um, the unstable power cell kind of blows up and uh, takes out most of them without much effort. Please, uh, Kelly, and you, you're you the best shooter, though. Yeah, I'm going to have you stay and risk it. Oh, you didn't bring enough granite for that door? That wall? Mike, Mike, Mike. Mikey. Fine, don't do the rear. I'm gonna, I, I just, seeing everybody's mood and as it's dropping, I'm just gonna leave that open. Riskier, but do it. EMI Dynamo, now I have no interest in EMI Dynamoing myself. All right, I think what I'm gonna do is have everyone uh, basically take cover and then have Kellyan open up an initial shot on the... Oh, get in there. Close the door! Ouch, Kelly has been hit. Oh, and is now missing a kidney. Um... Alright, let's low shield pack it. Winner, you patch Kelly up. I'll, I owe you a kidney. And with low shields, we'll just start opening fire. I would still like to hit, if possible, the, uh, the power cell to knock it out. But most of these guys can't even reach the power cell. Only Mike can, I think. And I only have 12 more seconds of the, uh, the low shield pack. There's one, four seconds. All right, everybody in. And Kellyan died through a forced open door. Ouch. You just got, uh, your other kidney went poof. Bummer, even with the low shield. All right, let me close this door. Oh, and the door is magically closing on its own. Brilliant. Uh, let's see, who is the next best shooter? Starling, I think? So let's don the rifle. All they have left is this Lancer and the turrets. Um, the thing with Kellyan is it's possible to keep Kellyan on ice for a future resurrection. So I'll try that. Um, I'll do that in a minute. All right, come on, Lancer, you want to fight? Let's fight. Yeah, come around to the back. Come around. Hi! Bye. All right, at this point, I think the safest bet is for everybody but Starling to back out. Starling forced that door open, hide behind the cover, and aim for the unstable, and everybody else is going to walk out the back and go into the base. And I'm going to try to unstable power cell, explode everyone. Explode the... Because at this point, well... I guess it really doesn't matter what I shoot, because the auto inferno turret's going to blow up on the unstable power cell anyway, so... Really? Are you not going to blow up? You're not going to blow up. Okay, well, I'll just aim for the uh, the turrets then. Maybe I'll get a power saw out of this. And then the Kellyan's corpse. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to keep it very well protected. 
So... A sarcophagus. Let me move my sink up there. I'll put a sarcophagus down here to keep it well protected. Okay, we're done. This has been destroyed. Unfortunately. Oh, right. It sparked anyway. Well, that's great. All right, we're going to bury him. Where do I have a grave? No, we're not burying him down there. Um, fresh, human-like colonists. That was just unlucky, the back-to-back -to -back torso shots. I might as well just leave that there. We'll see if we can't, uh... So, so the way, the way to keep someone safe is put a sarcophagus in, and then you're gonna want to, um... Uh, put vents in so that the freezer can keep it cold. And then wall it up entire- uh, completely, so that a corpse obsessed can't play with the corpse. So that's, that's the way to keep someone preserved. Obviously, solar flares mess with that, and there's not really a good counter to solar flares, but uh, this was the safest way uh, other than that. So, we'll intern you properly. All right. Why do I want to keep it preserved? Because there is a res resurrection mech serum, which allows you to resurrect one of your uh, dead anyone, actually. It doesn't, like, animals, colonists, prisoners, slaves, doesn't really matter, but it allows you to resurrect someone. And it works best if that someone isn't rotten, because if they're rotten, the resurrection process um, has a very high chance to have side effects. So the fresher the corpse, the better. So a perfectly fresh corpse doesn't really carry a risk, whereas a rotted corpse is probably not going to work. Um, there's a bunch of... Um, one of the side effects is called resurrection sickness, and it's it's a fatal. So it's best to keep them frozen if you, uh, if you want a chance to resurrect them. Now, the chance of me finding serum is very, very low, but as long as... Um, Solar flares don't ruin the chill effect of keeping them in the freezer. Uh, you can keep someone on ice for like indefinitely as long as they don't decay and resurrect them, you know, years into the future. So the reason to wall them up here is now if, if someone has a corpse obsession mental break, they don't, they physically don't have access to the sarcophagus. So they can't, uh, yeah, re resurrection psychosis, not sickness. Thank you, Skyra. Um, so yeah, it's it's walled up so that uh, someone with a mental break can't actually reach here. You can't go here, and that way um, there's no chance to um, to pull their body out and throw it on a kitchen table somewhere else. Alrighty, uh, let's add fertilizing areas to the whole space here because we're soon going to be. Um, Adding skylights so that we can farm in here year-round. It's a big old hothouse. And it's plenty tempered in here. I'm actually going to uninstall the... Actually break down the heaters. Because I'm, I'm kind of low on um, components. And, and see how many heaters I need in here to keep it good. But how much glass do I have? I have a little bit more glass. So the challenge now is to try to figure out how to... Um... I think for aesthetic purposes, I'm going to try to set it up so that it's um, these sort of like vertical skylights everywhere. Even if I have to pull out the original ones. So let's do that. I'm going to remove these three and then try to lay it out in some sort of nice orderly way. Maybe horizontally. might work best. Hmm. Oh. 
Reminds me of a Veritasium uh, video of like how to tile the plane. <laughs> I could just I could just do the one by ones, but I don't think they're a good efficient use of space. Yeah, I'm just gonna do horizontal, but it's it's not gonna look perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing a combination. I'm what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to do the most I can with the larger the the large ones. And then fill in the rest. And and for now I'm just gonna plant a whole bunch of rice to bolster the food that I have. And then I'll I'll diversify the crop. So smelt glass, yep. Oh man, you are gonna have some problems, and you are our counselor, so no one can help you with that. Ouch. So smelt glass needs material, needs steel. I have plenty of steel. What, what is going on here? Let me suspend the other stuff. Oh, it's a skilled craft. So really only Winter can do it, I think, because it requires craft five. So Winter and Starling can do it, and those are the only two. Got it. So when we make the glass, let's drop on the floor. And also, let's actually batch it. Make glass for do until we have, let's say, 16, and drop on the floor when we're done. Waza Burns, thank you for all the bits. What's funny is, um, so many people show up to the streams having only really watched YouTube, so you are not alone in that. And I really appreciate that you do, because I know changing platforms is inconvenient. You know, Twitch has its... Learning the ins and outs of Twitch is not necessarily an easy thing to do. So, jumping from YouTube to Twitch is, uh, it's pretty meaningful for me, and I appreciate it. I appreciate the bits and the sub. It's awesome. So I'll just sort of line it up uh, grid-like, like this, and then fill in what is, has not been illuminated uh, from the grid the one by four grid with, um, you know, miscellaneous, uh, whatever, whatever fits type. I think this is probably the, uh, the best bet. Yeah, there it is. This is probably nearly the least amount of glass required for this project. And then over to the church. The Twitch UI is a nightmare to work out. Yeah, I mean, I'm, a, I'm aware. I'm aware of its the complexities of the platform. Don't you worry. I remember being a Twitch newbie at one point. Even I was a Twitch newbie. So this room's a little disrespected uh, for now. But we'll, we'll fix it up. It'll be good. And then once I get it all floored up, I'll start replacing what I can out of Jade. To make it look real fancy. Oh, Plex! Another mental break. And Starling. Going for some smashy smashy because your, uh, your dear lover died. I'm sorry. He just has really... Squishy kidneys. What can I do? Let's set up a duster. So it looks like Seth Joe is just in tribal wear, which is pretty avoidable. And I'm gonna send Winter to focus on the uh, the tailoring. So I like the hot house. I like this design. I don't think I'm ready for guests yet. I think I really need to focus on the church, and I and I have oh hi sheep. Uh, I guess you are food. Uh, so I want to focus on the church so that I can start converting people because that is a a real thorn in my side at the moment. So a conversion ritual here expects no pews. That's odd. 
It's probably, um, probably a mistake. I need wool. I actually really don't need wool. I have a mega sloth for that. I have Nightbot getting the wool for me. Speaking of Nightbot, let's uh, not allow... You know, actually, I think it's probably fine to have animal hauling allowed in here. As, um... If I have so much rice, it doesn't really matter if uh, the mega sloth eats a little bit of it. Because it's going to eat food one way or another. So it's probably fine. But we are very low on vegetables, so important to do the hot house. I know you didn't vote on the hot house, but we're also working on this over here, too. And the Yoda zone should not include the church anymore. Poor little Yoda zone. He keeps getting kicked out of everywhere he goes into. While it's snowing. Oof. Uh, I'm going to set up a destroy weapon for bows, because I don't really want them, or the pillows. Because they're taking up space, and it's space that I'd rather have for my own stuff. Get some reindeer? Uh, I will when I see them on the map tile. There aren't any right now. But I do want to hunt some elk. So, here's the church. It's coming together. Very disrespected at the moment. Oh, it also doesn't have a proper roof. Another thing that we're going to want in here is the, um, the, the tree. Let me move this ritual spot. Uh, I'm going to move the lights so that there's two of them. And then move the ritual spot, and then put the tree nice and center. Or somewhat center. And then we'll have pews as well. Alright, sheepies. You're gonna become dinner. So what's going on with this, um... No, I guess we're hunting. You already need some loving too? Oh yeah, he does. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. <laughs> He's hibernating, guys. <laughs> I can leave his uh leave his camera on a bit. So I mostly just want to look after chickens and cows. So I'm not uh, I'm not keeping the use for that that reason i i already have so much neglected tasks here that i'm trying not to add additional work for my people to do because it's um gets to be a little overwhelming so mike where are you uh i'm gonna hit mike with a work drive because he's the other constructor i think that will really help out a lot it's too bad mike doesn't have a higher crafting skill because he could help with the the glass How long am I going for tonight? Uh, just 45 more minutes. Or 40 more minutes. I want to try to wrap up as many of these tasks as I can. Thank you for tuning in to Winner's Waystation, which originally streamed live on Twitch January 4th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch one of my live streams, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and count on timers to upcoming streams. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode, or perhaps an upcoming stream. Farewell, friend.